seeing right bundle branch block on an ECG usually does not raise much suspicion. But now in the European Heart Journal, researchers report on the prevalence, predictors of newly acquired, and the prognostic value of right bundle branch block and incomplete right bundle branch block on a resting 12-lead ECG in men and women from a general population. They followed more than 18,000 participants in the Copenhagen City Heart Study who were free from a previous MI chronic heart failure and left bundle branch block and determined all-cause mortality and cardiovascular outcomes. The prevalence of complete right bundle branch block or incomplete right bundle branch block was higher in men, though they occurred at less than 2% and less than 5% respectively. Significant predictors of newly acquired right bundle branch block were male gender, increasing age, high systolic blood pressure, and presence of incomplete right bundle branch block, not surprisingly. Whereas predictors of newly acquired incomplete right bundle branch block were male gender, increasing age, and low BMI. But here's possibly a surprise. Right bundle branch block is not so benign and was associated with significantly increased all-cause and cardiovascular mortality in both genders. Right bundle branch block was associated with increased risk of MI and pacemaker insertion, but not with chronic heart failure, atrial fibrillation, or interestingly, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Perhaps you've already guessed the final conclusion. Despite right bundle branch block being associated with increased cardiovascular risk and all-cause mortality, the presence of incomplete right bundle branch block was not associated with an adverse outcome. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.